Bless me! <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome to Stormworks. This is a sea rescue simulator where we have to design and build our very own boats or helicopters suitable for the mission at hand. Playing in a high dynamic physics playground, we will have a variety of sea rescue situations from mega storms to oil rig fires. Now I'm pretty excited to get into this, so without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome to Stormworks, the tutorial. Your boat was damaged in a recent storm, you will need to use the workbench to fetch it. That was a bad reason. But yes, we will do that. So this is only a uh, beta early access. So things may be broken or very well may change. Now, as you can see, it has kind of this kind of pixel block style. I'm happy with this. Not everything has to be true to life. I like the kind of the idea of fantasy and creativity behind this. Okay, box. I've read you. You can go away if you like. I want to thank the developers who give me access to this game. It is a closed beta, so I feel very fortunate to be included in a part of it. Is this the workbench? Hi, workbench. Oh, now we're talking business. Look at this. That's a speedy boat if I ever saw one. A little propeller and everything. Oh, are we going to rebuild the boat? It's a little bit broken. Boof. Damn it. Okay, one at a time. Nailing it like a boss. Sweet. Oh, it's time to get wedged. Ugh. What do you want from me? Wait, how do I how do I rotate this block? Oh, there we go. I worked it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna wedge this in, and it's gonna be amazing. There we go. I fixed it. So this is where the game is kind of like the other game called Scrap Mechanic, in the sense that we have to actually hardwire the whole uh, uh, the whole ship. So we've got to tell the engine to connect to bits and bobs and stuff like that. So first, connect the engine button in front of the seat to the engine's off and on node. If I just oh, there we go. Poof. There we go, we now have an on and off button. Connect the W and S key nodes for the seats to the engine's throttle node. This will make us go faster and slower, basically. Nice. This is important stuff. And we have two rudders. We're a lucky boat. Finally, connect the power out node from the engine to the propellers. That's very important. Without that, we're going nowhere. And that makes for a soggy biscuit in terms of sea rescue. Right, click the save button. Because we have a boat. Oh, I get to give it a name. This is the SS Spamalot. That's not how you spell that. Yeah! The SS Spamalot is ready to take to the ocean. Where's my boat? It's saving. I have a new mission. Oh, we've got to deliver hospital supplies. I can do that. Deliver a supply crate to the hospital without delay. I'm on it. Oh, this is the supplies that the hospital wants. Hi, you're coming with me. Get on my boat. Whee! Oh, shit. Come back! I need to deliver you! How am I gonna explain it if you arrive all soggy? They will think I'm irresponsible. Just gonna drop it in the back. Put a little step ladder. Nice! Okay, small ladder. Climbing that ladder like a boss. Nailed it! Right, look at this! The SS Spamalot is sea ready! Ready. Jesus Christ, my, my Englishing is not good today. I got a big button. I'm gonna push the big button. Oh yeah, bitches! Look at the propeller spin and everything! Right, we are ready to deliver ourselves some medicine! Full speed ahead! There we go! We want an adventure, everybody! All I've got to do is go in a straight line. What's the worst thing that could happen? This is really cool. There's, so, like, there's a lot of scope for opportunity with this. Like, especially if there's, like, no peace count limits. Like, we could build the Titanic. We physically could. If there's enough space. I mean, that shed's kind of small. I don't know. Given its kind of voxel nature and its our blockiness, it, with that lack of uh, acute detail, gives opportunity for great destruction. So I'm really excited to see how the weather is going to turn, how the storms are going to happen, and how this boat explodes. Because we've seen with other games, I forgot what they're called right now, uh, from the depth. Wait a second. I've dropped my medicine! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I'm really fucking irresponsible. Hi, it's the delivery boy. Here's your... Oh, fuck. Coming back, don't you worry. Is it from the depths of the last Leviathan? But because that was all blocks, if this is the same as that, then each of these blocks has value. And that means we literally could lose chunks of our ship. You know? So there's awesome opportunity and scope here to do amazing things. Right, how am I going to get you back on board? Stop. Right. No, no, no mate, mate. Stop. Full stop, Mr. Gibbs. I'm alone. Pick that up. Yes! I didn't even get wet. Right, let's drop that there. Like a boss. I'm back on the seat. Right, don't fall out the boat again. People are going to think I'm stupid. I'm a hero. I'm saving lives one delivery at a time. I wish this kind of um, 
tutorial box would kindly go away. I understand the logistics of WSADing. In fact, that'd be a really cool band name. Right, let's just wrap this up. Jesus, what did I tell you? Don't fall out the pissing boats. I'm coming to get you. All right, stop, stop. This thing rubber bands really freaking easily. Forwards. Stop, stop, stop. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it. No. It's nearly there, nearly there. Look at me, look at my guy go. Okay, back in the hot seat. That's fine. Tap it back and grab it. Got it. Like a boss. Yeah. Look at my little guy. I did a thing today. Back in the hot seat. Don't fuck this up. We're nearly there. We haven't got far to go. I think it's how the water splooshes up inside the boat. It's giving it lift and it's tumbling out. If we could modify the ship, it needs a brace on the back to prevent that happening. Hey, it was interesting to note the water was a lot choppier further out. And as we get closer to land, it gets better. Right, here is the key and the jetty and the booth. Nailed it. Give me this. I'm going to deliver this. My name's Fry. I have... Hi. There's a, there's a ladder. I don't need a ladder. I'm built for leg power. Wait, it's quite a far ways to go. I hope nobody steals my boat. Wait, no, box. Stop messing around. We have lives to save, damn it. Oh, look, at that's how you deliver boxes. <laughs> yep, nothing breakable inside here, right? Uh, yes, I am the delivery man. You have medicine, I have box. They're made for each other. It's gonna be fine. This is exactly, I'm a trained professional, okay? You called for the best. They were busy, you got me instead. But I have a badass boat. This box is for you, okay? I guess because we're, we're delivering services, we should go to the back door. There's other islands. Oh, it's like a little herding shed. Bloop. Mission complete! Yay, go to your base of operations. <laughs> Wait, is anyone in the hospital? Hello? H hello? It's kind of cool you can explore all the rooms and they're actually i'm taking your book mate you weren't here for payments i'm taking this as collateral there's a shitter that's superb and a, oh i want the box come box to your no no box to your new destiny i got a thing for spinning boxes apparently moti mcboatington i come back with a guest to make accommodation in the stern quarters post haste and we shall make way back to Tortuga and my pleasure lady. All right, no mate, oh you know what, fuck off. You're not coming home with us. I don't like you. Goodbye box. And there it goes. Story of the box that never could float very well. <laughs> but I have to say, I'm having a really nice time. This is really fun. I'm really giddy of excitement for how much opportunity this game truly has. Now I believe there's like a fog of war syndrome going on. So like this entire screen is a massive map, but only after we poke our little boat into it, do we discover new things. It's the year 2032, apparently. Four beans. Whee! We're hitting some sick waves. But wait, that's my house over there. I must have a different house on a different island that is not there. Okay, that's cool. We're discovering new things. It's a fine, it's part of the game. Howdy, I'm home. I'm seeing a much bigger ship than mine. I mean, I love my red go faster stripe, even though it's the wrong direction. If I'm not mistaken, excuse me, but wait. Oh, fuck me. I gotta go around. There's a sea wall breaking the ent- Fuck. This boat needs a turbo or something on it. Oh, that's a runway. That's an airport strip. Okay, we're picking up speed. We're gonna beach this little bitch, okay? It's been a magnificent steed. Do you remember that one time they got the medicine to the hospital when nobody was and we stole the box? Well, this boat is done for. Here we go. Impact! Oosh! That was kind of lackluster, but you know what? I got lights. <laughs> oh, it's on my head. I quite like being in third person just because it looks really freaking stupid. Honey, I'm home. Okay, staff only. I'm staff. Wow, this is a lonely, lonely place. I, I really, I really hope people add to the game later. What is this? Bunk beds and a TV. Can I turn a TV on? I can pick up the TV. Oh, come on, TV. I'm putting you on the boat for those long, lonely journeys. How did you get in the room, for fuck's sake? There we go, right. Boop. That's Ewas looking at the bed to go to sleep. But I, I don't want to sleep. I'm here in the area. Okay, let's go to sleep. Let's not waste time. We have stuff to do and lives to do and stuff. Yay! The tutorial has been completed. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the Stormworks tutorial. To start your next adventure, press the wake button. Oh yeah. 
Okay, here we go. So we got we have a long list of missions we can do and how long they should take to complete. Apparently, that one takes two hours. This one takes 45 minutes. These are long. Support a police vessel chasing a fugitive. We're doing that. Batter the boat. You know, can I fast travel home? I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to fast travel. Yeah, you do. Right, I'm home. Let's go down to the dock. We're going to build ourselves some upgrades for this. Yeah, amazing, amazing thing. Loading in the spam a lot. Now, let's make some changes. For a start, we're getting rid of that red. Not having any of that. Right, what we're going to do is we need to add some more power to this beast. So let's get the power up, okay? How does one do that? Good news, I found the eraser. It took me so freaking long. Right, poof. They're gone. Don't want any of them. Get out of here. Poof. Yeah! Look at that. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the spam a lot more. I've been literally building this for around an hour and 20 minutes, so don't judge me. I stuck with the original speedboat design, added a little mini bulbous bow, hoping that gives it a little bit of an edge. We didn't upgrade the engines. I know it looks a bit ridiculous. It looks a bit kind of horrible looking on the top. We can work on that. But we have an open hatchway so we can throw a box in there, ain't gonna fall out. We've got windows so we can see out. Now I've added doorways. I got teak wood flooring, because only the best for this. Now I've hooked it all up. I think it's working. We'll have to find out now. I'm gonna spawn it, see what happens, okay? Yes, mate. Boat, over here. Boat. I spent forever making you, and this is how you repay me. <laughs> okay, so you know what? We're missing a lot of buoyancy on the back, apparently, or it's too heavy on the back. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm not gonna let this, this get in the way. Open. You know what? We'll climb through the hole in the ceiling. We'll work out how doors work later, okay? Well, look, look, it's just sinking a teeny bit. It's not a problem. Yes, mate! Yeah, it sounds like a steam train, but it's doing its business. Not very fast, is it? <laughs> okay, so we, we're out in the water. I kind of got the buoyancy semi kind of maybe sorted out. We were supposed to be doing something, and I don't remember what it was. All right, we're pursuing somebody. This thing's really unstable. Let's be really careful on board this. If I jump up, jump up the hot seat for a second. Yeah, it's it floods. And look, oh, it's fucking rolling already. If you stand too far to one side, it starts to fucking capsize. No, Bodie, no! If anything, I think I made the boat slower. Oh, wait, I didn't actually read what the mission statement was. Police are chasing the fugitive who escaped custody last year. The pursuit vessel was damaged, but is too far out to send another. Airlift a repair crate to them so that they can resume their pursuit. Airlift. I'm a boat. You're shooting me! I've literally, for the last two hours and 15 minutes, minus 15 minutes for the tutorial, so for the last two hours, I have been building a boat worthy of Sean Bean himself, so that he would not even die in this, so that we can go in hot pursuit of a wanted felony criminal, and it's like, no, we don't want a boat, we want an airlift. Please. Fuck it! <laughs> right, well, I fucked this up. I've quite literally wasted whole fucking evening's time but you know what i had a lot of fun and we learned a, a thing or two about building boats for airlifting fucking stuff you don't care about places yes mate what's the point in sea rescue oh two star objective now failed thank you for reminding me how much of a failure i am at freaking doing anything apart from not drowning blob blob Whoa, fuck me. That was a big drop. Shit. <laughs> Whee! Wow, we got some real air out of that. Yes, me! <laughs> well, I'm going to call that an episode right about there. I know this has been a bit of a weird ending, but you know what? I really like this game. It's really addictive. The fact that I've been playing it now for two hours and 22 minutes. Um, I apologize for not reading what I should be doing and then kind of getting sidetracked in such a way But I had a lot of fun. So what I want to do is I want to play more of this while we have access to it So we're gonna come back for another episode that is not the tutorial and we're actually gonna do stuff And maybe build a helicopter at some point, but I like the boats a hell of a lot more. Look at this ocean. This is amazing Will this boat actually sink? 
I would like that very much if it could. Look at it go. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. A rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.